She was just a very kind, considerate, involved, compassionate sort of person that you couldn't help but like. When I was running for village president, she came to me and told me that I shouldn't be so serious at uh, community forums where I was speaking and that I should smile a little more. <laughs> and I took her advice to heart. But she was a very unusual person. Um, so soft-spoken, kind of mild-mannered, so that until you knew her, you didn't know what a really dynamo she was. You never saw her get aggravated or angry, and she wasn't rigid, but she had ideas and ideals which she was able to implement. We're driving along with her one day. Uh, she's driving, and it's cold, it was cold out. All of a sudden, she pulls over to the car suddenly and jumps out, runs over to a man there. She's talking to him, and she comes back, and she said, he didn't have any gloves on. And she said, I knew he needed help, and he did. She got him other, you know, supportive services. I mean, how did she, I didn't even see a man in the parking lot, but things like that raised, raised her radar. My mother managed to juggle uh, having six children and running a household, and yet having a very, very uh, involved civic presence and community presence. I remember, it seems like just about every weeknight as a child, that I'm going to a meeting, one or both of them were like going to a meeting. So I guess we must have done a lot of babysitting, the, us older children. But I, I would say my, one of my memories of my mother, or not my memories, but one of the things that she imbued upon me was her eye and her love of nature and her love of beauty and her love of art and her love of antiques. We had, we had a lot of simpatico ideas about color and art and creativity and that kind of thing. You know, and I was a hippie in the 70s, so we can talk about that wearing off from them. All of mom's kids, the six of us, instead of rebelling against our parents, hewed to that line all through our lives. So we're all cut from the same cloth as my parents are. So She was a leader of all kinds of causes. Uh, open housing, which was a big issue in Wilmette during the 1960s. Uh, she was uh, uh, at the forefront of leading on affordable housing, providing affordable housing in different forms. Jean was one of the leaders in the effort to create more daycare facilities in the village. Doesn't sound controversial today, but it was back then. She was always coming up with ideas, not only the Housing Commission itself, she instigated the uh, housing assistance program, which gave subsidies to low-income, elderly, and um, disadvantaged people. She went right ahead and did what she felt was the right thing to do and never got perturbed. That was the thing about her, whereas I would be so anxious not, not to never saw her that way. So we decided to name this property Cleveland Place in honor of Jean. Um, she was such an important board member as a founder and as her life on the board, um, that being in Wilmette, having this be our very first property in the village of Wilmette, it just, it just was so obvious that she was the right person. Uh, I think she would be extremely happy if she knew what HODC and Richard were doing with this affordable housing. I think she would be just a tiny bit embarrassed to have a Cleveland Place named after her. I think she would uh, obviously uh, see it as a great honor, but she was not somebody who was courting um, fame or uh, praise or adulation. I'm sure she enjoyed it, as we all do, but I, th I think that it's a wonderful thing and I'm very proud and very glad that it is being named Cleveland Place. I think she would say to tenants of Cleveland Place, welcome to Wilmette, we're so glad you're here. It's a wonderful community. Your being here will make it even better.